Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one and michaelsherlock.com. Today, Hulu, and if you don't know what Hulu is, H-U-L-U dot com, it's a website that allows you to watch free legal TV shows and movies, and is supported by the major networks including Fox and NBC. What they have released today is Hulu Labs. That Those are experimental projects from Hulu. So what have they actually announced? Right now they have Video Panel Designer, and Video Panels are easy to use embeddable widgets that allow simple content programming and easily integrate a Hulu video player. So in essence it allows you to embed Hulu videos or clips, and it allows you to customize those. They also announced Recommendations, which are TV shows and movies that they think you'll love based on their algorithm, or whatever, however they have it set up, based on what you've watched in the past if you have an account based on their algorithm, your viewing patterns, they'll recommend movies for you, movies and TV shows. And they also announced time-based browsing, which allows you to quickly scan their videos by original air date. So if you're looking for something that just came out, or if you're looking for something that maybe you missed, you were on a vacation or whatever, and you missed everything from last week, all your favorite TV shows, now you can go back to that week or specific air dates if you miss one day, and check out all your TV shows that you missed. But the coolest thing is Hulu Desktop. Now this integrates with your Windows Media Player, Windows Media Center, or Apple Remote, uh, Windows Media Center standard remote control. So using just six buttons on those simplized, simplified remotes, you can get through anything you want on Hulu. So they have it set up for that. Now of course it runs on Windows or a Mac. The requirements for Mac are a Core Duo 2 GHz, 2 gigs of RAM. For Windows, Core Duo 1.8 GHz, 2 gigs of RAM, XP or later, or Tiger or later. So you could use Vista, Windows 7, Tiger, Leopard, whatever. You also need Flash 9 installed and a 2 megabit per second internet connection. So they did a really cool job with this, and basically, I think this is really cool because they don't. They right now don't allow a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, of having Hulu embedded in stuff like Boxy. So what you could do is if you had a home theater PC, you know, you could just have this Hulu desktop on there and then using your remote browse through the entire Hulu catalog, which is really a cool thing. So I'm just, I already have it installed. I'm running Mac OS X, so I'm going to launch the Hulu desktop. Now it says you appear to be running another third-party application that utilizes the Apple remote. You may wish to close this application if you experience any problems with using your remote in Hulu desktop. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So the first thing that'll happen is a featured video will autoplay. Right now it's the pilot of Glee. And it gets bigger. So if I press escape or the back button on your remote control, you'll get this thing here. So in the center, you'll have all of your, and we'll go to full screen, which is a command F. You have all of the information about that episode and you can move over and look at all the episodes of that TV show, all the different seasons, subscription so you can subscribe to the episode or subscribe to the clips if you haven't if you are logged in with an account and then also recommended. So if you like that show, what else do they like? And they suggest Saturday Night Live, The Office, Family Guy, 30 Rock, Simpsons. So now if we move down to popular, it'll load featured videos if you want to watch them, popular shows, popular episodes, popular feature films, popular clips, popular trailers. So if you wanted to watch the Basic Instinct movie, or if you wanted to watch the big hit, you know, you could just press enter or, or the play button if you're on a remote and it would work. So we're just gonna move over. And again, all these controls you can use using your arrow keys if you're actually using a keyboard, or just your right and left clickers if you're using a, a, a remote, because that's what Hulu really wanted in this beta lab uh, desktop client. So then recently added, so if you want to see a recent episode of Mental, you can look there. Recently added shows, episodes, featured films, clips, and trailers. Then TV, so if you want to look at all TV, popular TV, you can look at popular shows, popular episodes, popular clips. Recently added, you can look alphabetical, you can search by channel, you can search by network. So if you wanted something that was just from ABC Studios, you could go ahead and look in there. Or if you wanted to look at everything they had full, uh, you could go and search, sort by different the letter of the show, or you could search 
just by everything in their entire library. And you can see that's a lot. We're still going. These are just TV shows. And these aren't individual episodes. These are, you know, the series. So 24, not each episode, but just that. So you can see the huge amount of content that, they, that Hulu offers. And they have the same exact thing for movies. In popular movies, recently added feature films, trailers, alphabetical channels, and studios. So if we wanted to look at all the movies they have, they have 571 movies. And we'll go ahead and scroll through that. They really have a lot of content on Hulu. And if you haven't been checking out Hulu in the past, you may want to. So now profile, you can add a profile, sign up, or preferences. This basically Hulu allows you to create an account. So if there's some stuff that re some stuff that will require, for instance, our movies that are rated R, uh, you need an account to confirm your age. But if you have an account, you, again, you can use recommendations, which is a new lab feature, as well as you can subscribe to different TV shows or different episodes. Now search, and again, uh, you could type something. So I could start typing something. Uh, but it's also designed so that you can migrate around using this keyboard and live something will come up over here so if you were into prison break you could go ahead and press that if you wanted to see seasons there were three seasons so if you wanted to see season one here's some clips from season one so then they have help so videos, if you need help getting figuring out how to use it, although it's pretty intuitive. The remote, so if you don't know exactly how to use it, again, navigate up and down using the plus and minus. Left and right using the fast forward and rewind. Select is play or pause menu will return you to the video. Or if you needed to know how to do that on a keyboard as well. And then exit to exit the app. And again, command F or control F will minimize or maximize it for you. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the video. And so that's how it'll play. And it'll play in full screen if you're in full screen. And then you have your own little uh, widget that comes up. So you can resume play. When you pause it, it'll bring that back up. You can get a video description, video navigation, it's because right now, for some reason, whatever it is, there are no commercials. So when I've been watching it, there's it's commercial free. Uh, and then it starts you off with, again, right now, the Glee pilot episode. But they'll, from what I understand, there'll be different episodes that'll be that featured video. And then they have a suggested one and a random one. So if you want to view a random video, you can press that as well. And when this, when this video that you're currently watching ends, the next video in your navigation will come up and play after I believe a 40 second or 30 second wait time. You could add videos to your queue if you were logged in. Check out closed captioning. So if you want closed captioning, uh, you could turn that on by pressing OK and then you can use the up and down buttons to select it. Uh, if you OK to turn closed captioning on or off. So right now it's on off but you could change it to English. Again, right now this is only available in the United States so it's not international. And then also, if you, again, if you're logged in, you can rate the videos and get that same help information that we were just talking about before. So overall, this is a really cool thing that Hulu has implemented. They finally decided to, br to bring Hulu to the desktop, even though they don't like Boxy, they've announced their own thing. And this will be perfect for a Media Center PC or something along those lines, so you can get all this great Hulu content in an easy form factor on your full big screen TV if you have a home theater PC. So that's just my review, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it, of the new Hulu desktop. For more of my content, subscribe at youtube.com slash the revived one, or follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash blue42richman. You can also check out my blog at michaelsherlock.com. Hope you had a good time watching this video. Take care, guys.